What's up, Legends? Sunday was the part of the ALGS, so let's talk about the standings for Sunday and how they impacted the overall leaderboard. Plus, at the end, if you're interested in the ongoing data mining situation, there's been additional information leaked that puts TSM, Alliance, and Furia all in a sticky situation. But first, let's dive into Sunday. The top of the leaderboard was insanely close. Another week of some of the best Apex we've ever seen in terms of standings. Typically, NA has a blowout team, just like we saw G2 dominating in the Oversight Tournament, having double the points of third place. The past few ALGS game days have been so close, and this time, Liquid beats out Space Station Gaming by one point in the final game to take the win. Luminosity in third place was only three points behind Liquid. The real story, though, was NRG. They went from dominating the Oversight Tournament week after week to being mid-Pro League, but Sunday they finished in fourth place. While 4th is a great finish, it didn't start out looking too good for NRG. After the first 4 games, NRG only had 8 points total, and they were sitting dangerously close to the bottom of the leaderboard. And then game 5 happened. NRG popped off with a 17 kill win, earning them 29 points. And then, game 6 happened. NRG claimed back to back wins, earning them 48 points in the final 2 games. To put that in perspective, if NRG had only played games 5 and 6, they would have tied 100 thieves for 6th place. Truly an incredible comeback and a much needed morale booster for the boys. I was asked to talk about FaZe, so here are my thoughts so far. They finished 12th on Sunday, putting them currently in 16th overall and just 15 points away from the top 9. They're still building that chemistry and Mac is still coming into his own as an IGL. If you remember before the ALGS started, Mac and Slurp played with a round robin of subs while Snipe finished his Halo obligations. They've recently acquired Chrono as their analyst and I expect them to keep improving each week. If you listen to the comms and the breakdown between games, they know what they need to work on and they're actively making adjustments, which is great, since they're behind everyone else in overall team synergy. But those games where they're vibing and everything is clicking makes them a very dangerous team, and if they can find that consistency, they're gonna go pretty far. On a side note, something that is pretty interesting is Atlanta Premier starring Hill, Crook, and Enemy has parted ways with the team, and they're currently going by HEC now. This was an interesting parting of ways because it was pretty under the radar, I haven't seen much of a reason or complaints from either party, which I assume just means their contract ran out, but I'm not sure. But let's move on to look at the overall leaderboard. After Liquid's big win, they are now 13 points ahead of second place, which is TSM. But keep in mind that TSM is a game day behind Liquid. Space Station Gaming has moved up to 8th place, but like TSM, they're a game behind some of the other teams. Space Station Gaming is a team that's been flying pretty low under the radar, but they're catching fire at the right time. It's good to see them catching their stride. I will say I'm impressed with ESA, they're also a game behind and they're currently in 6th place overall, and with their newest addition Luda, they're in a great position leading into the ALGS playoffs. The last team I want to highlight in this video before moving on to data mining is Furia. Furia's been struggling and looking absolutely terrible. They are currently 24th out of 30 teams, but we've seen them struggle before in the Oversight Tournament, but they overcame those struggles and haven't found their footing in the Pro League. With only 3 game days left, Furia is going to need to do essentially win out in order to qualify for the Split 1 playoffs. This brings me to my final topic of data mining. Kashir, the IGL for Ascend, who is absolutely dominating Emiya right now, has just released a screenshot of his conversation with other players where the Alliance coach admitted that TSM Raven, Furia Sea Lion, himself and others have all had access to game-breaking data, which backs up Raven's now infamous quote, it's just the tip of the iceberg. While the Alliance coach goes on to say that they've all reported this to Respawn, he has yet to offer any proof that this has been the case. This type of information is what people should have been focusing on. For everyone who got tunnel vision on the ring exclusionary data, you guys were not seeing the bigger picture. This admission of guilt now puts a lot of pressure on Respawn. TSM, Furia, and Alliance are some of the biggest draws in the world of Apex. We already know that mining data from games is against the terms of service, but how does that continue to impact competitive integrity? Raven himself says that it's unenforceable, which insinuates that even if it was deemed punishable, that he would continue to use this vein of information. This really only gives Respawn one option, seeing as Raven isn't wrong about the burden of proof, that this information will have to either be all publicly available or somehow all unavailable. Personally, I'm anti-leaks and spoilers, so I was already leaning towards anti-data mining, but this is definitively a lack of competitive integrity. But some will always use the old baseball adage, if you aren't cheating, you aren't trying. But if Respawn decides that the burden of proof is too difficult, therefore releasing all of the information officially, and allowing teams to view it, then that's fair game. The only thing we can do now is wait for an official response, or lack thereof. Thursday, the ALGS games resume. 
And with all of this looming overhead, let's enjoy some of the great games. And at the end of the day, no matter how much information your team has, teams still have to go out and perform. Until next time, Legends.